Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode two of BBI TV with your host, yours truly, Jen Hunt. We're really looking forward to seeing you in just a few short weeks down in the British Virgin Islands on board your yachts. Many of you, especially you ladies, are curious about what to wear and what to pack, and this session is all about answering your questions. Let's start with some of the main activities to guide us through this. So during the day, you're going to be lounging on the sun deck of your yacht, sipping on painkillers or the beverage of your choice. You're going to be enjoying the lounging on the beach and being in the water, scuba diving, snorkeling, and all the fun activities that you can imagine. In the evening, you'll have dinner parties on board your boat, and then you'll come aboard our boat for a bigger party or enjoy more socializing with various friends that you're going to be meeting on your trip. The weather is very predictable and it doesn't vary much. Your daytime highs are around 28 degrees Celsius with nighttime highs at about the mid to low 20s. It does stay warm pretty much the whole time. The sun is out all day with the exception of about a 10 minute rain shower at about 1 p.m. and then it goes right back to sunshine. From my experience, here are some tips on what to actually pack based on your activities and the weather. Because it's warm all day and into the late evenings, you really don't need jeans or hoodies or pants. I really highly recommend that you don't bring any more than what you need on your trip for the airplane down there. Don't overpack, don't overdo it with the warm clothes because you really won't need them. I also found that in my experience, I didn't wear shorts when I packed them. I found that the bonus of having a, being a girl and being able to wear sundresses, that the, the fun and flowy experience in a sundress was so much easier and they were easier to pack. So I highly recommend spending most of your time uh, hanging out in sundresses. Biggest mistake is to overpack. Please don't do it. There's not a lot of room on the boats. They're fairly comfortable, but you don't need much either. You're going to be spending way more time in your bathing suit than you ever thought. So, ideas of what to wear during the day. Wear your bathing suit, a beach wrap, cover-up, and a, or a sundress, and your hat and sunglasses. Don't forget those. And in the evening, a sundress. Maybe bare feet, maybe flip-flops. For shoes, though, I really um, want to mention that there are no high heels on the boats. And at our reception, and I'm going to get to this a little bit later, we also don't recommend high heels unless they're wedges. So we'll talk about that. Now, while you're sailing on the boat, you may want to um, wear flip-flops or bare feet, but you may also prefer to have closed-toed shoes such as Crocs or water shoes, and those can stay on your feet and provide you more comfort. On the, on the boat, when you're not sailing, bare feet. So, uh, there's really nowhere fancy to go, so don't, don't bother with too many shoes, and you're going to just enjoy a relaxing experience with your bare feet. For our wedding ceremony and reception attire, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview. So for starters, our uh, primary wedding color is coral, pink, salmon pink I should say. Our complementary colors are turquoise and yellow. The accessories and accents are silver white and the men khaki of course is the base. We're having our ceremony on a deserted island. We're taking the boats from Cane Garden Bay, sailing over to the island called Sandy Spit, hopping off, going ashore, having the ceremony, and then taking the time to enjoy and play in the clear waters and the deserted island beaches. Really, this is about bikinis, bathing suits, board shorts, and some beer. Of course, and our wedding. What the bridal party will be, or the wedding party will be wearing, the bride will be wearing a white bikini, the groom is wearing a white sarong, bridesmaids are wearing beach cover-ups that are in coral, and the groomsmen are also wearing sarongs. So some suggestions for you, sunscreen and a bathing suit. You guys, sunscreen and board shorts. And a t-shirt is optional and you ladies, a beach wrap is optional. After the ceremony, we're going to be playing in the water, and then at 1 p.m. we're heading back to Cane Garden Bay where we're going to have a picnic on board our boats while we're underway. You're going to have about three hours to enjoy a little bit more time playing, shower, freshen up, and change on your own boats, and then head out to our cocktail reception. The entire reception is very casual. A sundress for you girls is all you need. While this is the only night that's suitable for high heels, keep the following in mind. The cocktail reception is on the beach, 
in the sand, and the reception is in a restaurant that looks like an old tree fort. And it's very cool, but it has very, very, very wide planks with quite large gaps in between them. So if you're wearing stil any stilettos, you're going to be stuck, and we don't want any Gilligans. So anyway, wear, wear good solid uh, wedges if you're going to do that. What the wedding party will be wearing, the bride is wearing a white long dress with um, flip-flops and the groom is wearing white linen pants with a coral shirt. The uh, bridesmaids are wearing uh, coral dresses with flip-flops and the groomsmen are wearing khaki pants with white shirts. So a few tips on what to pack. Uh, suitcases, first and foremost. Please don't bring them if you can possibly help it. Real estate is at a prime on the boats, and there isn't really room for a suitcase storage. There is some very limited amount on shore at the charter company for some unsecured uh, suitcase storage, and I highly recommend if you can avoid it, just do that. Uh, take a duffel bag that you can collapse, roll away, and store it under your mattress or in your closet, and get it out of the way and enjoy the luxury of your cabins. Definitely recommend packing travel size toiletries. The boats are not provisioned with shampoo, sunscreen, conditioner, uh, face wash, etc. So make sure you've got lots of sunscreen and all the things that you need. The boats are provisioned with a number of things though. So here's what you don't have to bring with you. You don't have to bring towels. There's going to be two sets of full towels for you. So there's going to be one for the beach and one for the showers. So you'll always have at least one that you can keep clean and separate. There's hand towels and face cloths per person as well. There's sheets, pillowcases, comforter. There's regular hand soap, toilet paper, uh, paper towels, and everything that you need in the kitchen and living space. And this includes stereo, CD, MP3 players, iPod hookups, um, and inside and outside speakers. So remember, if you can, pack, pack some good music and pack your iPod if you, if you like, and that'll, that'll make the whole experience more enjoyable too. There's also a flat screen TV, blender for yummy drinks, a coffee maker, microwave oven, a freezer, a fridge, an ice maker on the 250 foot boats. There's an extra cooler for drinks, uh, dish soap, dish cloths, tea towels, you name it. And for activities, of course there's a first aid kit and all the life jackets that we need. But in addition to that, there's also masks, snorkels, and fins provided for everyone. Bring whatever personal you items you need, as I already mentioned, but also keep in mind that the boats are not provisioned with irons, hair dryers, curling irons, flat irons, um, or any of your medications. So if you have an allergy and you need an EpiPen, please bring that as well. The boats have, are equipped with 120 AC power, which is standard for all North American small appliances, so you don't need a converter either. Also. This is an all-inclusive um, organization that we put together for you, but I do recommend bringing some cash. The currency is U.S. dollars, and we are anticipating that at our bachelor and bachelorette party, we're going to be having it held at a floating bar. So you may want to buy a couple of drinks there. It's not <laughs> mandatory, but just letting you know. So that's all you really need to know. We are going to be hosting a conference call for those of you who are interested. It's going to be via Skype. So if you're interested in that, you can reach me at jenhunt13, one N, so J-E-N-H-U-N-T 13, at Skype, and we can get you set up. And we'll be going through our full itinerary and all of the details, and you can ask us any questions. So stay tuned for more information about that time and date. And in the interim, if you have any questions, comments, or you're curious about anything, please give me a call, drop me an email, and I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. So, in the interim, jive ho, get ready to enjoy a painkiller down in the BVI, and we're really looking forward to seeing you soon.